Okay guys, in case you didn't know and you've been living under a rock or living in a root cellar, Kent Hughes is the new general manager of the Montreal Canadiens. And let me tell you, the rumor mill is back in full force. All of a sudden, because this guy was a player agent, every player in the NHL that he's dealt with over the years is guaranteed a spot on the Canadiens roster. We've got Nicholas Delorier potentially returning, because of course, right? Yeah, for sure, why not? But in this video, we're gonna focus on a couple of the bigger names that are in this picture, in Patrice Bergeron and Chris Letang. But first, before we begin, if you're a fan of the Habs, or just being repeatedly kicked in the nuts with bad news, then please consider subscribing to my channel, as I upload a ton of hockey content and would really enjoy having some more you grasshoppers tag along for the ride. Okay, so as we all know, master negotiator Kent Hughes was a former player agent, super agent might I add. He's been known for his wheeling and dealing, you know, the old give me the money or I'll kill you. Hughes took care of some players such as Patrice Bergeron, Christopher Letang, Darnell Nurse, Colin White, Drake Batherson, Anthony Bolivier, and many more. And it's because of this, from here on, every week, these players will take turns being linked to Montreal, right? It's just science, guys. Jeez. And this week, right off the hop, the two names that are being tossed around like a couple of Toonie Tuesday ladies of the evening are Chris Letang and Patrice Bergeron. Renaud Lavoie touched on this possibility as well, and here's what Chips Ahoy had to say. Chris Letang, Kent Hughes was his agent until 48 hours ago. He is a great leader who is demanding of him, but also his teammates. The other player is Patrice Bergeron, also a former customer of Hughes. Many will say that he is a Bruin for life, I agree, but there is a possibility that he will say at the end of the season that he wants to play for his former agent. <laughs> well, of course. That's a reality. Kent Hughes, his former clients, always loved them. Letang and Bergeron will be, at the end of the season, unrestricted free agents. When it comes to a center player, and you want to build a strong culture within your company, Patrice Bergeron becomes a priority if he's available in July. Bam shazam, shots fired. Let's get Renaud with some finger guns. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at both of these players. Let's look at their stats, what they're making, all that good stuff. And then we can decide whether it's a good idea or not. First guy I'm gonna look at here is Patrice Bergeron. He's about to turn 37 years old this summer and he's far from a young pup anymore. However, his statistics indicate otherwise. Check it out. Some pretty big numbers. Now we all know he's been great at the face off dot over the years. He's been a respectable player. In fact, even though he's been playing for the Bruins, I would have loved to have seen this guy wear a Montreal jersey throughout his career instead of that old bleh. And it's hard to imagine that a guy like this wasn't taken until the second round back in 2003, but then again, that draft year was absolutely full of good players. Montreal's very own Shea Weber was actually taken four names later, behind Patrice Bergeron by the Nashville Predators that very same year. Bergeron has played over 1,100 games during his time in the NHL, and he's put up 900 points. This year, Bergeron actually has 31 points in 36 games. Not too shabby at all. That's actually enough to lead the current Montreal Canadiens roster. Gee. But of course, playing alongside guys like Brad Marchand and David Pasternak or Tabernak definitely helps. So, the theory of many fans would be to bring this guy in here next year at 37 years old and let him groom the kids, you know, maybe give them some face-off lessons and all that good stuff. Bergeron is currently making 6.8 million bucks this year. He's at the end of his contract, and I don't think he's going to get anywhere near that next season. Most likely, he's going to get a one to two year deal with a respectable cap hit. But if you're asking me, I honestly see this guy retiring a Bruin anyway. He's still playing good hockey over there. He's the captain. He's the king of the dressing room. He's kind of like a French Michael Jackson. The king at the dot instead of the king of pop. And they're going to want to keep him for all the same reasons that Montreal would need a guy like that. So realistically, I don't see it happening at all. So let's move on to subject number two. We got Chris Letang. 
who just so happens to be a couple of years younger than Bergeron. He's going to be 35 years old in April. He's a stud of an offensive defenseman. And he's also putting up some decent numbers as well. Check it out. He's already got 34 points in 35 games. Which is quite a jump compared to the shit that we've been seeing from our defensemen. Shield your eyes. <laughs> Latang is currently in the last year of his $7.2 million contract. And just like Bergeron, he's probably going to take a significant pay cut during the offseason. Most likely signing from one to three years. In terms of production, not trying to take anything away from Latang, he's wicked. But would we really get the same level of play out of this guy in Montreal? We do have to keep in mind, this guy gets the privilege of playing alongside teammates like Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin. And when Pittsburgh's on the power play and all these guys are out on the ice at the same time, I could probably score a few goals drunk in this scenario as well. Just saying. Now, out of both of these guys, Latang and Bergeron, I do think that Latang has maybe a higher chance of playing with a different team next year. But again, I'm not sure how much sense it makes for the Canadians. There's obviously a lot of variables at play here. It all depends on what Kent Hughes wants to do. We've already got quite a few veterans on the team. And if he doesn't move them, then we don't want this to turn into some kind of an NHL retirement home. Jeez. So again, from my perspective, I'm not really interested in any of these guys. If they were in their prime and much younger, then yeah, sure, I'd be all over them like it's Big Merry Monday. Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I enjoy reading your ideas. Let me know what you think of both of these guys. If you think they would be of value to the Montreal Canadiens right now. And hey, I'll see you next time.